35 years in business can be considered a significant milestone. And for businessman Robert Hamity, getting there was no, rock, was no walk in the park. As Tortuga Rum Company marks its anniversary, Mr. Hamity looks back at the business landscape in 1984 and how much things have changed. K-Man 27, Seaford Russell Jr. has the story. 35 years ago, Tortuga Rum Company's founder Robert Hamity and his wife Carleen took their teamwork out of the kitchen and into the boardroom, turning a family's tradition into an international brand. Her, her um, recipe and my rum, good combination. But taking that first step into the business world was no easy task. In fact, Mr. Hamity says when he started back in 1984, he had to rely on innovative ways to keep the word out. In those days, it was very difficult. When we first started, there was no internet, there was no social media. Our first marketing was a 1-800 number in the States, and it's still there. And they believe it or not, you still get a couple calls on the 1-800 number. Some of the older people still use it. Mr. Hamity says when he opened the doors to his first business here, the Cayman Islands was very different from what it is today. He says breaking into the local market was hard, but they were helping hands along the way. A very kind lady by the name of Mrs. Rosie Overton had a distributorship. She was the only one that assisted us in the early days in doing our distribution. Fast forward to 2019, the Tortuga brand can now be found on shelves internationally and is known synonymously with the Cayman Islands. And I think which was an excellent name. Tortuga was what Columbus first discovered the island and named it um, Tortuga. We don't know how, the, how that name disappeared, um, but we're now Crocodile. As for the future, he says he's sticking to the local traditions of keeping his product purely local. We've just introduced some additional bottles that is all hand-bottled hand, hand, on, hand bottled and handcrafted rum here in Cayman, and that has been doing very well for us. Seaford Russell, Cayman 27. Mr. Hamity says while he is looking forward to the future, he knows there are challenges ahead, like keeping his spot at Royal Watler, should the new cruise birthing facility be built, that is. But he says he's prepared to face all challenges head-on, as he has always done. Congratulations to Mr. Hamity and all of those over at Tortuga.